trust is built into everything that we do. So if you think about IT, then you know trust basically means three things. It means availability, it means backup, and it means security. So I think those are the three kind of uh, pillars, if you like, of, of trust. But I think from a security perspective, when we think about the trust, um, I solve that kind of trust equation by two things, and that's control and visibility. If you can see everything and you have control over what you can see, then that um, instills an element of trust um, in, what, in what you're doing. So I think um, trust almost means kind of different things in those two aspects, but they're equally important when you, when you put them together. So my track session was really talking about intelligence-driven security, that's really looking at how security models have evolved today um, and we're obviously not doing a very good job of security because we're spending money on security but we're still getting compromised. So I was really talking about um, what can we do to change that? How do we change to a different model to help us achieve much better security within our own organizations? And it's kind of based on three principles. So it's based on risk, so real-time risk in terms of um, what real-time risk is at that point in time to that organization. Um, looking at context, so context is kind of the glue that connects IT security to the business. Um, and then the final one was um, agility, so how quickly can we move those controls based on behavior, uh, location, or something that's happening outside our organization. How can we adapt those controls um, to meet security at that point in time? I think the key takeaways were really around um, trying to see how they can move from the old model, from a perimeter-driven siloed model to, to an intelligence-driven risk model. And also, I think thinking about budget, so we're not saying that you should spend more money, so we're not are saying you need more budget, but actually think about using that budget differently. At the moment, we spend most of our budget on prevention, um, and really we should be look, thinking about um, spending less on prevention, but more on our response um, to an attack. And we're not doing that at the moment. Um, so that's one of the takeaways. And I think the second one is um, two goals to kind of bear in mind when you're thinking about uh, your overall security strategy. So the first one is to reduce your dwell time. So this is how long an attacker would be in your organization. So once they're in, they're actually doing something within your organization. So reducing that dwell time. And then the second one is increasing your response time. Because if you can do that, if you can shrink that window down, then the chances of um, doing da damage to your organization is minimized.